Hi everybody, this is Zach Rosen from The New Gay. I'm here with Jamie Stewart from Shushu. Jamie can say hi if you want to. Uh, aloha. <laughs> uh, we're obviously in the backseat of a van, so I'm in the backseat with Jamie Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> and I want, you know, so we're just going to jump into this interview. Uh, Jamie, my first question for you is about accessibility in music. Because I feel like you have gone the opposite route and won a fan base by being uh, more inaccessible in many contemporary bands. Would you agree with that? Oh, I <laughs> might debate as to whether or not we have a fan base. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I really think about it so much. Um, yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm above it or anything like that, but mm -hmm. we're just... Uh, uh, I, I think it's a little bit dangerous to consider uh, whether or not one is accessible or inaccessible. Uh, I mean, it just... I think it leads to trying to be one or the other, which then, mm -hmm. you know, dilutes any attempt at, at being... Uh, at, uh, at being uh, pure or truthful or, or whatever, so um, I will leave that to you to decide. <laughs> okay, then I guess the flip side of that question is you've never felt pressure to try to write um, maybe less dissonant or... Oh, not pressure at all. I mean, with some, of, some of our stuff is incredibly dissonant and some of our stuff is uh, an, an attempt at being totally pop. Okay. Uh, but I mean, any attempts we've made at being totally pop have only come from that we really love pop music, not from, you know, not from feeling, as if we, we better do it or we're doomed or something like that. Okay. And for those that might not have heard uh, Jamie's new album, which is called uh, Dear God, I Hate Myself, there's a whole song built around a hook, a really catchy hook of Dear God, I Hate Myself. And I thought as someone, um, I don't know as much about your back catalog as some of your really rabid fans do, which we'll get to in a minute, but um, what came about to this album maybe being a little more hooky or poppy than other ones? Oh, um... Even though you just told kinda, me maybe just kind of what I said before. I mean, just... Uh, just being totally in love with with pop music um uh there um uh, i i really 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 love the most recent morrissey record which was uh just basically like uh, you know up tempo pop mm -hmm. jam after up tempo pop jam and what we so i'd wanted to try to like not have something that sounded like it but it was paced like it we had never you know a lot of our records are you know maybe kind of half pop songs and half like experimental pieces right um and we had never done one that was essentially just all pop songs um and just just because i loved how that record made me feel so much i think we, we tried to to uh just emulate how that one was set up okay and then speaking of morrissey your song um this too much pass away this too must pass away yeah mention mention steven right is that Steve. steven morrissey it is of course <laughs> of course <laughs> of course right What's your relationship? I feel like whenever I interview kind of queer women songwriters, I feel obligated to ask them about Anita Franco because I feel like everyone <laughs> just emerges from that legacy whether they want to or not. <laughs> so for what's, better or worse. Right, yeah. And something, they have, worse. <laughs> right something they have to deal with, though. What is your, you know, do you feel like you, as a queer guy that makes kind of more miserable music, what is your relationship to Morrissey? Well, I'll illustrate that by doing this. <laughs> This is my relationship to Marcy. <laughs> Big glasses? <laughs> no! <laughs> Think about it. Um, no, I mean, he's dismissed and Morrissey, are my favorite musician, my favorite band, so. Okay. Leading to this iconic and... fashion statement, lack of fashion statement. <laughs> right. Flat, uh, plaid flannel also. This is just cheap. It was cool, I got it at truck stuff. This okay. Is, this, is a, this is a totally utilitarian. Okay. Um, and same song. Is the Freddie in that song Freddie Mercury? Oh, no, it's my friend uh, Freddie Rupert. Uh, it's a just a personal friend oh. of mine, yeah. Well, I apologize for that. Oh, then. no, I'm okay. a gigantic Freddie Mercury fan as well. Okay. Uh, we, we covered, uh, on our last record, we covered Under Pressure. So, and I oh. got to sing uh, uh, the Freddie Mercury part. Nice. And actually, on the very first Shoo Shoo t-shirt of all time, there was a picture of Freddie Mercury on it. Okay. Yeah. Cool, but it's not the Freddie in that song. That, Different Freddie. That shoots some holes in a question I was going to ask, but... <laughs> Um, so what, uh, I hate to borrow questions from High Fidelity, but is someone, you know, the misery or the music, are you, do you say that, um, you're a kind of introspective, unhappy person that makes music like that, or do you choose to, this is, I'm asking this poorly, uh, what kind of personal background does it take to make music that can seem often as introspective or unhappy as yours? Oh, you mean my mine personally or yeah. in a generalized way? Well, uh the you, you you. Oh, I mean I unfortunately feel really rotten a lot of the time. Okay. I feel conversely then feel very very fortunate to be able to uh 
uh, plane abandoned and have some place to put that in negative emotion. Uh, I think if I didn't have music to put it into, I would probably go completely crazy. Okay, so it does help. Uh, I don't really, I mean, it doesn't make me feel better, but it keeps me from losing my mind. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. And, uh, I mentioned the fan base earlier. I think you, even if you don't think it, you have a really rabid, really <laughs> d devoted fan base. Um, do you have any indications to what my, what my devote, uh, what my sparks from that devotion? Oh, I'm probably the worst person on earth to ask. <laughs> um, so, some, some people who are interested in Shusha were very, very, very sweet to us and very nice, and we feel okay. really grateful for, um, for anyone who comes to shows. Um, I, um, having toured with, uh, several other bands, I feel like the people who come to see, uh, our shows are particularly sweet and particularly nice. Okay. So we're really lucky in that regard. Cool. Um, anything else you want to say to all of them before we end? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Jamie Stewart, everybody. Take care.